Hey guys, it's Jason Nedvet from Nedvet Precision Shooting. I, uh, I got a new toy. I'm super excited about this one, thanks to the guys in Minnesota. Uh, I got it paid for it and everything, but uh, it was five and a half hours away. Uh, but I had some friends coming down this way, so thanks to them for bringing it to me, saving me a little bit on shipping or me having to drive over there and getting it. But as you can see from the trigger cam footage, it's a mover. So I'm excited uh, to get to play with this, play around with it. I played with the Kestrel, uh, measured it with my phone for a second, and then put it into here. Um, about five to six mils a second, uh, which I don't know what mile per hour that is, but I just measured it out and read what the Kestrel gave me. It said uh, from five mils, it's I think 1.2, and if it's six mils, it's 1.4, or one, the opposite way. Yeah, you guys know what I mean. So I'm just gonna bracket it between 1.2 and 1.4. Uh, should uh, should be able to get an impact on it and then oh my. Talk you guys through the way I do it So you can see my reticle there you got twos on the other side and what I do is I'm gonna ambush it So what that means is when that comes across the 1.4 mark boom right there uh, That's when I'm gonna be uh, squeezing it off. So I just wait for it to come in boom and I've tried the um, following it, so you just got to keep it right there. That just feels weird and kind of jittery. Um, now that I have a mover here, and I will probably practice that, but just trying to follow that just feels weird. So we got elevation in, we got wind in. It feels like come down just a little bit. We'll see if this 1.4 to 1.2 hold is uh, true. So we'll just, let's see here. Quit talking and stop thinking about it. A little early. So we'll try to follow it here. My bag don't go that far. Try that on this side. Yeah, I was behind it. I was in front of it. There we go. So, I need some practice, obviously. Uh, I'll do more videos when I get better. But yeah, I just got this. You can see by the steel, it's all pretty brand new. Got it set up out there, but I got a few impacts. I think I'm just rushing it. Um, just need some more practice on it. Just getting it right there. And then trying to get that elevation right too. So for me, when it gets to that one mil mark, basically the right side of that plate or on this instance, yeah, the right side of the plate. No, the left side of the plate. When it's that one mil edge, I think that's when I need to be squeezing it off right there. So you can see I kind of followed it there. I'll try to follow it here, trying to keep that one mil on the edge of it, and that should be able to get that steel. See, I don't really like the way that feels um, going back and forth on it, but I'll grab another mag here and uh, we'll try it again. All right, so we're back with another mag. Let's see if me pulling trigger when it hit that edge of the plate hits the mill mark on my reticle. That works better. Well, so far it is. Oh, that was way too early. Oh, that was low. That was on me. I rushed it. But yeah, that worked a lot better. So what the Kestrel said was 1.2 to 1.4, depending on how many, you know, my second count. Uh, but if you look at that target, it's almost eight tenths to a mil wide. So if I 
um, slow and pull that trigger when it's on that edge of the steel is on that mill mark that should be able to get me on it like that there so yeah got a new toy you'll be seeing it at some matches if you come by um now you know how to shoot it hopefully i explained it enough um, but i'm sure there'll be more videos uh, when i get a little bit better at it uh, and get practiced up we'll do different ranges things like that but it's a fun new toy thanks you guys out of uh, minnesota bringing that to me you'll see it at some matches thanks for watching